somewhat what I'm going to talk about tomorrow, because I get to have a breakout session tomorrow morning. Uh, and that is really putting your practice into overdrive for the rest of the year. How many of you have started thinking about the end of the year? Yeah, I, you know, I, I, as I'm coaching and teaching and traveling and seminars, a lot of people are starting to think about what has already happened this year, 2014, and it's gone by pretty fast, do you think? And you know what? What I ask them, and I want you to think about this for yourself, is what, what have you accomplished? What have you done thus far? And has it met the goals that you set out to achieve? Have you made an impact on your community? Have you empowered or enhanced your team or your, your uh, uh, you know, systems, your office, your practice? Have you reached enough people? Have you touched enough lives? And so when we look at those questions, I think a lot of us will say no, right? What, a lot of you would say that, I haven't, I haven't done enough. And so what I wanted to share was this, is that kind of a new motto for the rest of the year, and I wanted to say, we need to be, become lean and mean to finish 2014. Lean and mean to finish 2014. Now that doesn't mean we don't get lean and mean in 2015 either. It just means we have to step it up a little bit, and I think we have to play bigger than we have been right now. How many of you think, with a raise of hand, you can play bigger than you are right now? Good. I, well, though this side over here is a little slow, but you guys got it going on. So, no, really. I mean, I think we can all play bigger, and we have to step up to do so. Because if we don't do it, who's going to? You know, I don't think there's a lot of people out there that are really willing to step up to that level. So what does it mean to be lean and mean? Well, I want to say lean means what? A couple things to me. It means, number one, I think we need to take a look at the next four months and say we've got to cut the fat. And what does that mean for your practice? I don't know. There could be a lot of different things. Sometimes it could be an overstaffing. Sometimes it could be you're, you're doing stupid marketing. Sometimes it could be that you're not teaching enough, you know, you're teaching the wrong things or you're saying the wrong communication to your practice members instead of talking the tick in the way you should. So whatever the fat is for you, you've got to cut the fat. I think we have to get lean by training. And you know, I'm a big advocate of training. That's exactly what I do. But ultimately, most teams say, yeah, we train, but you don't train. Because if you were training, you'd be literally up and in it and role playing and action and handling questions and scenarios and do it again, do it again, do it again kind of thing, right? So that you become very lean in your systems and your practice. I think lean also means that we have to have systems, we have to have protocol, we have to have procedure, we have to have process. And those things are important, just as important as it is to teach the chiropractic story, right? Because both have to have effect. You can't have one really without the other. And so we have to get lean in those ways. And it could be even, even enhancing, like you said, the communication or maybe starting education. See, those things are the lean things in your practice that have to happen. And so what are the mean things? To get mean means, to me, not the negative mean, but we have to get directive. We have to get direction, right? We have to have, we have to make decisions. No decision is a decision, right? And so decisions, most people can't make a decision if their life depended on it. We have to get mean in the fact of planning. Our goal planning, or our office planning, our marketing planning, our education planning, our seminar planning, all these things are planning, and no plan's a plan to fail, and most people are not very lean and not very mean when it comes to sitting down and planning. They spend more time on a vacation or a birthday party or a kid's party or something they're going on to instead of, instead of their practice.